Okay, so today we're going to be making uh, this render right here. We're going to be making this volume smoke look. It's kind of like cigarette smoke or whatever, and that's done in EV. Technically, everything we're going to be doing can work in 2.79, but you have to render out volume, and in cycles, that takes forever. Um, quick note, if you want to see other renders and request tutorials, this is my Instagram. Uh, it'll be linked in the description. All right, so we're going to get, get on to that. So... Make sure you're in the EV render engine, and I would take depth of field and obviously freestyle off. You can keep everything else in. So we're going to get a cube here, and we're just going to scale it up. And then we're going to get our camera and go into your. Still getting used to these new icons. Go in your settings and zero out all the rotation so it'll, your camera will be pointing directly down. And then click zero, G, and middle click to drag up. Uh, let me go back to solid view. Oh, we got a lot more to go. And yeah, right about there. All right, now we are going to go into, I have the UV editing preset, but all you have to do is just split your screens in half. Um, I have it already done, but yeah, split your screens in half so we can go into the node editor. I'm going to go into shader editor and drag this over, click on our cube, and I'm going to click a new material. I'm going to delete the principle and we're going to add volume scatter right here and plug it into the volume input. Um, one thing I forgot to do, shift A and I'm going to add an area lamp. Area lamps I've noticed uh, work the best in this situation so I would recommend using an area lamp but do whatever you want alright first thing we're gonna do is add two texture nodes we're gonna add the Voroni I never know if I'm pronouncing that correctly uh, correct me if I'm wrong um, and we're gonna plug it into the density of our volume scatter and then also a moose grave and plug that into the vector All right. So here's what our render looks like right now. It, you can kind of see what's going on, but to expound on what these textures are doing, we are going to add a color ramp. And we're going to slide it right in between here. And then we can take these things right here, click on them, why does it always do that? And just slide it down and you can see it's starting to react with what we're doing. Um, as you can see, it's really low quality. What you can do is you can go into the settings and of the, I'm still getting used to these, these, these new uh, icons. All right, so you go to your volumetric settings and your EV settings, and right here on tile size, bring it down to four, and we start getting some good stuff. I'm gonna go into the world settings and make our background uh, black instead of gray. I don't know why that's the default. I don't know if anyone ever uses that. Maybe I'm wrong. So now we can see what's going on. If you go back into the EV settings, you can even make it uh, two, and now it's like super, uh, super sharp. But I stay away from that because it takes a long time to render and it crashes my computer. If we're just doing the animation, I'd keep it at four because our our um, motion blur kind of make makes up for the little bit of low quality. But if you have your settings at 4K right here and then you render it it looks just fine I'll show you real quick okay so this is what it looks like um, if you're just doing a 1920 by 1080 I'll I always export as 4k and then downscale to 1080 and if you do that uh, this looks perfectly sharp in motion so now we are going to get the motion part of this so we're gonna add two more nodes we're gonna add a mapping node and I'm going to plug the vector into the vector and a texture coordinate. Texture coordinate, put the generated into the vector. Now, if we go up to the rotation, I like the X one. The X rotation, you can kind of see what it's going. Unfortunately, we really can't get a good preview because the real time update on volume just doesn't look good. But a quick workaround if you want an easy way to check it out. Go back to your EV settings, and on um, volume, put your tile size back to 8, 
and then you can still see kind of what's going on and then you can mess with it and just make sure it's moving I recommend getting your let me go back to the default window here I recommend putting your frames at 360 that makes it a nice speed you can make it more uh, any less it kind of looks too fast in my opinion and so what you would do we're gonna drag up our timeline here and we're gonna go to the timeline all right make sure in your user preferences I forget about this every time go into your editing settings and put it right here from Bezier to linear so it doesn't slow down at the end of the clip and then speed back up at the beginning um, and then you would click insert keyframes and then click all the way to the end and also skip a frame to 361 you're gonna have a duplicate frame if you keep it at 360 and then right here on X 360 360 degrees insert keyframe and we have our animation again it looks really bad but when you finish rendering it it's going to look like this so it looks really really nice and then you can add other lights and change the color like on this one I had the white light here and then a blue light right here and uh, it looks pretty good so also if you're if you don't know how to get 2.8 it's builder.blender.org and you can get the new their daily builds um, but yeah that's basically how it's done again really important your tile size right here uh, put it at 8 not eight, four, sorry, and then render it out and you'll get pretty sharp volume. Uh, if you're doing a still, like an image, maybe put it at two, but again, my computer always crashes when I do that, so I have to play around with it and figure it out. If you know a workaround, please uh, comment that. And yeah, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.